Hello and welcome back to ATVRiders.com's coverage of the 2009 AMA ATV Pro Motocross Nationals. This week we're reporting to you from Steel City in Delmont, Pennsylvania for round 6 of 11. The weather was warm and sunny with a few lingering clouds while the crew prepped the track for moto number 1. The riders rocked it out of the gate in an uphill battle to claim the first hole shot of the day. Looks like it's going to be Harold Goodman on the number 708 Rage Powered Honda as he has quite the lead coming around the first corner and he's going to take the whole shot followed by Gus, Cody Miller and Josh Kramer. Goodman holds the lead but is pursued closely by the number 22 can of Cody Miller and the number 55 of Digger Doug Gus. Harold Goodman was flying out front, proving he was a force to be reckoned with. He was riding smooth and clean out here in the Pennsylvania heat. Joe Bird, who's the current point seater, is battling with Jeremy Lawson and John Natale. Harold Goodman was spacing himself a little from second place as the first few laps come to a close. The number 708 Honda was followed closely by the rest of the top 10 spots. Chad Wiener passed with Dustin Wimmer moving him up to 6th place. However, back out front, Josh Creamer took over 2nd place and then with a good line and a downhill drive, moved him up to the front. By the next lap, Josh Creamer was sitting comfortably in the number 1 spot and he was running strong. It was clear his mechanics had his Monster Energy Kawasaki tuned just right. Joe Bird gets around defending champ Dustin Wimmer, who is making his comeback after a few weeks off due to an injury sustained before the last round. However, back out front, the number 9 Green Machine was off to a very comfortable lead. And speaking of Green, Creamer's teammate Chad Wienan was battling back and forth for the second place spot with Doug Gus. Wiener gets around Gus, but then Gus passes him back. And now Wiener slides across the inside, blocking Gus' line, which puts him solidly in second. Joe Bird, who had been fighting through from a mid-pack start, set his sights on Doug Gus for third. Gus singles and Bird jumps on the inside and makes the pass. Wiener did all he could to try and grab another win coming from Illinois, but he just didn't have enough time to catch Josh Creamer by the checkers. Third place went to Joe Bird, and with a number four spot came Doug Gus. Josh Creamer was definitely excited because he was halfway to taking the overall here at Steel City. And here's your results from motor number one. Here with Doug Gus. Uh, Doug, first moto out there, you almost got the whole shot. You and Harold will go on at it. Yeah, my uh, rock star Makita Suzuki Yoshimir LTR 450 brought me right up to the front, just about had the whole shot, and uh, it was working real good. I was feeling good. I made a couple mistakes, but um, you know, I ended up fourth. I'm happy with that. And uh, you know, how was the battles going out there? Battles were going good. Uh, the heat was getting to me. I wasn't quite ready for this. Heat it hasn't been hot at home. Uh, but I know I'm going to go home and train in the heat and um, hopefully we get some warmer days and help me out for next time.